your family and I'll say hi to whoever uh, uh, comes on board. And I can just say hi to him right off your phone. If you're on the phone, you might be on your TV. I don't know. Oh, look, I'm back. Hi, Mikey. <laughs> Yes, yes, Uno. And with a whole new lease on life, uh, he's not going to be a troll anymore. He said he's going to be nice, and that's good news. Well, doctor, it depends. It, it depends on when he tried watching me. It's very possible that he tried watching and I wasn't on live because I was doing my sandwich build or something. Well, David... It's going well. Uh, have you seen the Gundam I'm working on? These are the arms to it. And this is the body. The arms will go on here like so. And uh, they uh, pretty much, I got finger joints and all of this stuff. So they actually all uh, actuate really well. Oh, thank you, Erica. You're a sweetheart. Oh, that's really nice, Erica. Thank you. And so anyway, um, yeah, it is. <laughs> you want Reaper Watch Gundam? Well, this is an SD Zeku Gundam, Reaper. Uh, little pilot in there. All right. And he's an AI pilot. Thank you very much, Erica, for all the roses. And it, Erica's probably going to put 200 roses in. Erica, by putting 200 roses in, she gets in on this raffle uh, for Wednesday. Wednesday at noon, I raffle this off. Every 200 roses is a TikTok dollar. That gives you a ticket in this raffle. And I'm very good at keeping track of my raffles. I've been doing it since raffle six. And this raffle is number 27. Wait, no, no, number 26. All right. This is where we are here. Evening show. Erica's going to have her name right here. But yeah. If you want whatever you're making to have a stand. Excuse me. You have to build it into your base before you cover it up. Otherwise, you'll destroy it. Well, thank you very much, Erica. You're a sweetheart. We love you very much. Thank you for stopping by. And so, anyway, Erica has a raffle ticket for this number three of six tiger rays built by me my own custom design for our own story we're building and named by tiktok tiktok called the tiger ray very good idea it's a, a, a fighter bomber is what it is and so and that's what i'm working on right here because on wednesday this is gone i have to have another one for next week and this one is signed dated and numbered the number four of six Right here. Emerald Fleet, signed, dated, and uh, yeah. So anyway, thank you. All right, doctor. We'll see you. Take care. Have a good evening or morning wherever you are. Well, Uno, I am doing very good. How are you doing? You haven't banged into anything recently, have you, other than this morning? Oh, the, <laughs> the Bengals lost. Eh, well, you know, it's just a, it's just a game, Reaper. And I know people go nuts for sports. But seriously, they'll be back next week. Maybe they'll win. 
There's a lot of tough teams in the NFL. You know, I'm a Seahawks fan, but I don't watch the sports anymore. Of course, it helps because I don't have a TV. A skull. <laughs> Thank you, Silverman. Nice to see you. <laughs> oh, I know. Hell, <laughs> Spotter. I know. Yeah. Uh -huh. Uh, was she shot down from the ground? <laughs> oh, yeah. You bet, Silverman. Thank you. It's good. High quality H2O. Oh, yeah? Yeah, Reaper. I remember when I was in the Grey Bar Motel, I was watching that documentary on those fools who were up there with the grizzly bears living with them. And as soon as a buddy of mine turned me on to that and showed me the show, Eddie, welcome back, Eddie. Nice to see you. The first thing I said when I was watching that show was that, oh, they're, they're dead people. And they went, no, they're not dead. They're living with them. They're doing really good. I said, you don't get it. Grizzly bears. They eat meat, and those humans, all they are to those grizzlies is meat. And when they get hungry, they're going to eat them. And sure enough, it was about a month later, both of them got ate. And so, and matter of fact, after that first show, I never watched it again because I knew what was going to happen. Wild animals are wild animals, people. They don't play by our rules ever. Oh, might have been. Yeah, I don't. I don't know. That's uh, that's something else. Yeah, cause uh, they got some pretty touchy aircraft up there. Well, Jack. Uh, wait a minute. That wasn't Jack. That was Eddie. Oh, it's Eddie Jack. Yeah. Thank you for your apology, Eddie. And I'm glad you're back in the paper army because, you know, we love you and we, we don't want that kind of, you know, stuff going on. A, a bit. Yeah, Eddie, you were, your imagination ran away a little bit, I would say. But I'm glad you're back, Eddie. Oh, confirm. Uno is an animal. Well, yeah. Fighter pilots have to be. You know, seriously, have to be. Because when you're up there with them raptors and stuff like that, if you screw up, you could be dead. I'm very thankful that Uno didn't die. That's good news, Eddie. That's fantastic news. Eddie, Private Eddie... Welcome to the Paper Army. I do too, Spotter. I, I like that young lady very much. As a matter of fact, I love her. She's part of the Paper Army. And the thing is, war sucks. And it doesn't matter what side you're on. It sucks. Because innocent people end up dying. And I know for a fact that a lot of people in this situation don't really want to be there. And it really stinks. Hi, Brent. Well, <laughs> well Reaper... I've been called a lot worse than that when I was in prison. <laughs> and I just I laughed at them and walked off because I didn't care what they called me. Didn't matter. I know what I'm made of. 
and I'm not hurt by words. Yes, Ryan. Absolutely. I salute her. I'm doing good, Brent. How are you doing? Because uh, uh, Reaper, some of the smallest animals in the world are the toughest. Excellent, Eddie. Excellent. Good, Uno. Good on you, Uno. That's great. Who was that? Billy Ray. <laughs> I'm doing good, Billy Ray. How are you? Absolutely, Spotter. Absolutely. You know, Reaper. Yeah. And look at the mongoose. And the badger. Okay? Little critters like that. The face down, ungodly presence. Well, <laughs> You're back, Eddie. And uh, we're glad to have you back. Yeah, scorpions are tough too. <laughs> well, it, it definitely clouded your brain, Eddie. Uh, but glad to have you back. That is fantastic news. Oh, Nick Strong? Oh, that's a fact. Did he win? Did, did he win, Brent? Well, yeah, it depends. Some of the black scorpions are like that. But basically, you step on them and they're... Okay? But most scorpions, average, I think are about three inches long, not counting the curved tail. And so, I mean, my God bullet ants are about that big <laughs> and they're bad hugo nice to see you my friend how you doing scorpios rise up yes scorpions do their legs kind of like that and they get ready and they ah, hit you with a poison Oh, look at that. Looks so cool. <laughs> yep, our Star Wars D&D mashup is now on the paperarmy.ml, you guys. We're going to actually be able to start gaming there whenever you want. Okay, Eddie, that's fine. I wrestled when I was in high school back in the 70s. So, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Huh. I knew they could swim. I didn't know they could breathe underwater for an hour. All right. What these little trim pieces are that I just did. Oh, that's okay, Reaper. <laughs> that's absolutely okay. I've been around a while. Oh, excellent, Agent. How's it coming along? Well, Ryan, I am building a tiger ray. That's what this is. 
And in case anybody would like to get in on this, 200 roses gets you in on this raffle for Wednesday on this Tiger Ray. It's a, it's a, it's a fighter bomber. My own design. Only here. And there's only six of these in the world. One of them is mine. Oh, uh, no worries, Spotter. That's fantastic news. Way to go. Way to go, Spotter. And yes, tapping is supporting. Toke is right. Thank you all for sharing sharing me with others and for all the likes you put up. Huh. That's amazing, uh, Undead. Oh, really? The horseshoe crab is an arachnid. You know, I might have read something about that 40 years ago or something. Oh, that's cool, Agent. Nice. Nice, Eddie. That's cool. You bet, Spotter. Good luck. <laughs> I, I caught it the first time, Eddie. Uh, Reaper, um, I would say, what, you're 26, 24, 26, something like that? Did, did I get close? I rest. Nice to see you, young man. How are you doing today? Hi, Sam. Nice to see you. Welcome. Oh, much lower. Oh, so you're 18, 19? Oh, no, no. What the heck? Oh, wait. What's up, Mike? What's up, Mike? Oh, that's Ron. Oh, yeah, that is. I, I forgot to put it in the fridge because I ran out of time. Agent Smith says something, too. I'm old enough to listen to that. <laughs> okay, Hugo. That's cool. Lost your appetite. Oh, no. Much lower. Holy mackerel, Reaper. Much lower. That puts you in the, what, 15 years old? Oh, welcome in. Well, that's wonderful news, Sam. If you don't mind me calling you, Sam, from the Philippines. I know right where that is. I was stationed there. Yeah, Ron, it makes really good sandwich. 15. Okay. Well, shoot. Let me see. Uh, okay. Uh, Eddie. Eh, I have no idea, Eddie. Uh, what are you at? Maybe, what, 20? Or are you in the same age, uh, you know? <laughs> That's good, Sam. How's your day going, Sam? I hope it is spectacular or at least good. Undead, are you speaking Tagalog? You're 16? Oh, uh, Tana, that would be Jay-Z Knight. Oh, yeah. Yeah, wrestlers tend to get broken bones. <laughs> okay, Ron. How old are you? <laughs> oh, oh, you're you're speaking English. That's why you understand me. <laughs> Thank you, Sam. 
<laughs> for helping me on that one. Oh, okay. Well, Sam, Undead Terror was speaking to Golog. I was guessing ages, uh, but I have no, you see, usually they give me a little bit of a clue. Uh, so Ron, um, uh, 30. <laughs> so I'm guessing oh, on that one. Yeah. <laughs> well, Eddie, it's a good thing. And thank you, Sam, for the smiley face. I understand. Well, well, thank you very much, Rest. Uh, 58 is fantastic. Uh, uh, no, I, I'm older. <laughs> you bet, Brent. Thank you very much, and I salute you, Brent. Have a good evening. Well... Here's a story for you. <laughs> Thank you, Reaper. Uh, not that old. I'm old, I'm 68. Um, Eddie, in, in ninth grade, I broke seven ribs, cracked five, punctured both my lungs. I broke them racing snowmobiles for my dad. Didn't know they were broke until I jumped on a trampoline in high school, in junior high school. Did a one and a quarter reverse, landed on my back punctured both my lungs with the broken ribs and uh, I almost died. Uh, seriously, I almost died. I, uh, I could see the gray as I was blacking out, squeezing in like this. And so I forced air into my lungs. And after the third time of doing that, I popped all my ribs back into place. And I was thinking in my head, I went, Oh my God, you're hurt really bad. <laughs> and so I was real careful. That was third period. I had seven classes. I went to all seven classes, went home, walked in, told my mom. I said, Mom, I'm hurt. She goes, how bad? Worse than ever before. <laughs> and the doctor came out shaking his head going, oh, my God, Lillian, you don't understand. You got to get this kid off motorcycles and snowmobiles. You don't understand what he's doing. And she said, well, what, what happened? He said, both his lungs are punctured. He's got seven broken ribs and five cracked ribs. How he got his ribs back into place, I don't understand. <laughs> Thank you, uh, Reaper. I just, uh, and nobody knew I was hurt in school. The, nobody knew a thing because uh, the way my dad raised me, uh, you didn't, uh, you didn't let out any noise when you got hurt. You just, you were, didn't, didn't talk about it. You, it didn't happen. Yeah, it is a fun game, you guys. On Monday on Monday nights, we have a we have a D&D Star Wars mashup game, Star Trek, Star Wars, Battlestar Galactic, it doesn't matter. You know, Road Warrior. It uh it's uh it's a lot of fun. That's strange. It's <laughs> definitely. Yeah, Ron. That was the way I was raised. Oh, Eddie, that's rough. Dang. What, uh, why, why in the world did they put you in a coma for a year? If you don't mind. Okay, there was a real low spot right there, and I just added all those little pieces to it to build it out. And then once that dries, then I'll go ahead and sand it back down. Ha, <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> thank you. Thank you, Rest, for the roses very much. <laughs> yeah, Reaper. Yeah, I know. <clears throat> Jeez, Eddie, how in the world did you get tangled up in that ladder like that? <laughs> yeah, Reaper, sometimes sleep is hard to get. Oh, that's fantastic news, cat girl. Your canine, that's that's cool. Hi, Shawshank. Uh, I could be. I have got uh, I've got nephews and nieces and grandchildren and uh, uh, sons and daughters all over the world, Shawshank. So that is entirely possible. Oh, geez. Eddie, dang. <laughs> Uncle Grandpa. <laughs> thank you, Reaper. <laughs> oh, that's excellent. Well, what do you know? And thank you all for the likes you put up and for sharing me with others. Okay. And let me see. What am I, what am I going to do? Oh, yeah. I got to cover it with the brown paper next. Uh, is that going to come off of there? I don't need it. Got one right here. Aha. Okay. So I think I really need to put one strip right there. Yep. And one on the other side. So when you, whenever you're doing something like that, you want them to equal out. So you just fold it in half where your measurement is. And then you cut your piece off. And then you go back and you just split it in half. And now you got two pieces that are exactly the same size. Geez, Eddie. Dang, that's bad. Oh, that's cool, cat girl. That really would be cool. <laughs> well, Ron, there's enough of me to be uncle for everybody. <clears throat> Eddie's right. Oh, really, cat girl? More homework to do tonight for me? Oh, well, what homework is that? <laughs> Thank you, nephew. Geez, Eddie, those those are rough. Those are really rough. Shoot, Eddie. Are what are you a WWE wrestler or something? Holy shoot! Me. You, as you, was talking a lot earlier. Uh-oh. I hate that cat girl when I do that. <laughs> oh, and Dad, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, okay. Hold it. Reaper and Ron. Now, come on now, you guys. There's enough of me to talk to both of you. Oh, yeah, you know, that is annoying because you just get them broke in and stuff and they feel really good and then you miss one. No rest. I don't do live sandwich builds because I build paper toys. The sandwiches are only for my lunch. If I ever get an office to where I can make lunches for other people, then yes, I will do a live sandwich build because then the food will not go to waste. And I will not waste food. 
And that is the number one reason why I don't do a live sandwich build because I have to make my sandwiches and eat them. Okay. So I make a sandwich, I eat it for my lunch and that's what I do. But in the future, there's a possibility that I could do live sandwich builds, but I have to have an office and I have to have staff in the office so that uh, I can make uh, it live and someone can eat it. Oh, your independent circuit. Okay, Eddie. I see that. On solo? Absolutely. Yeah. Made the Kessel run in 12 parsecs. <laughs> Let's not do the Pepsi challenge. Well, I'm from the Pepsi generation. It's one of those kind of things. And besides, the darn stuff makes really good building material. Thank you, Rest. And I have to do that that way because I waste not, want not. And it's been that way my whole life. Oh, geez, Eddie. Wow. Wow, that's rough. Yeah, and I'm not a fan of Cherry Pepsi. I tried it. <laughs> that's good, Uno. But anyway, yeah. Some of the best building. What? Oh, what, Cherry Pepsi? Yeah, yeah it sucks. I don't know. Never tried vanilla Pepsi either. But anyway, building material. I eat the food. I get the building materials for free. Oh. <laughs> uh. Yes. Yeah, Rich. Oh, good news. Rich just told me. And yes, Han Solo, your picture's there. Rich just told me that not only can you game on our paperarmy.ml site now, but you can also watch me live and talk to me on that site. So if any of you would like to go to the paperarmy.ml and sign up, that would be just absolutely fantastic because we've got the D&D Star Wars mashup game there and uh we're working on getting the dice so that you can roll your stuff and uh, i'm pretty sure we're gonna have to have uh, a gm to run the game and uh anyway that's fantastic what rich what yeah I see me. Oh, I do see me. What? Oh. Oh, geez. Those are the messages over there. Okay, now, when they come up, I'm, I'm looking at the paperarmy.ml page, and it's got a message board. It's Viola. Okay, do they go from, oh my goodness sakes. Oh, that's fantastic news. Wow, everybody. That paperarmy.ml page is so cool. Hi, Hunter. How you doing? Yes, I kind of figured that, Solo. I did. Yes, Hunter, it has been. Uh, not much. I've been working on this raffle. Uh, this is going up Friday, or, or not Friday, Wednesday uh, at noon, which is now my Friday. And so the phone show is going to be on for another hour and 10 minutes. Rest. Yeah. 
Yeah, holy mackerel, Eddie. Jeez, you, you need to find another business, my friend. <clears throat> anyway, Hunter, um, what we got going on is this raffle. It's a dollar in TikTok money, or you can put money on my cash app. That works too. But it, 200 roses is a TikTok dollar. You put 200 roses in or the equivalent to that in coins, and uh, you get in on this raffle for Wednesday. It is the number three of six. This is the number four of six that I'm working on right here. And so, anyway, and Rich, does that go from the top down or the bottom up? When, when somebody posts something, does it come in on top of everything? Okay, Brent Patterson said hi. Viola said hi. Huh. And she answered, Brent. Nice. So anyway, yes, rest it is. Well, <clears throat> I General Grievous has kind of been stuck. All right. I haven't worked on General Grievous for a while because I had a time crunch on <clears throat> the Gundam. And so I started working on this Gundam really hard. And then I had to make a raffle because I need to pay my rent. And so I did a raffle and it put the Gundam on hold. And now I'm not going to make the time deadline. So anyway, this is the Gundam. This is uh, the arm. Uh, it goes on over here. And I made the arms articulate. And uh, anyway, yeah, I made some really cool joints on this. And so anyway, that's kind of sitting over there. General Grievous is just hanging out because <clears throat> I got to work on these. <clears throat> but I think next week I'm going to start working on General Grievous again. <clears throat> Thank you, Silverman, for letting me know. <clears throat> All right, rest. Have a good night. <laughs> oh, you're not leaving. Okay. Oh, geez, Eddie. That makes you one tough cookie, my friend. All right, Uno. Take care. We'll see you soon. It's freezing. Well, I got a good connection on my end, Hunter. So I'm thinking it's probably your internet connection or something in your area is causing it. Okay, rest. <clears throat> May the force be with you, Han. Take care. And at this time frame, that would be General Han Solo. All right, Eddie. Take care, my friend. Please be careful. Yeah, yeah, Hunter, that's probably what's causing your glitches is that rain. It's pesky stuff. <laughs> I'm sorry, Undead. Uh, yeah, it's a bandana. Yep, Harley Davidson, uh, my favorite motorcycle in the whole world. Thank you, Eddie. I will. Be careful out there. Yeah, my goodness. And let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Twenty second delay between here and there. So, <clears throat> thank you, Eddie, I will. Yeah, I, yes, uh, Hunter. And I don't know what the deal is. Um, uh, about a month ago, two months ago or so, I think, a month ago, I'm not sure. Um, when I changed the phone show, it used to go through the week, Monday through Friday. And I decided to take Saturdays and Sundays. Well, Saturdays and Sundays have not been doing very well. And so it's hard telling. At the end of September, we may go back to five days a week, uh, regular days. 
I don't know if I'm reading the YouTube chat, uh, but I'm reading the live feed chat on the paperarmy.ml. <clears throat> and so that's what I'm reading is the live chat on the paperarmy.ml page. Oh, uh, Hunter, uh, we started a brand new website called the paperarmy.ml. And it's a very secure site. If you go to my link tree, you can sign up there. And we've got, it's just amazing. It's, uh, it's got as much stuff as facebook but it's easy to navigate it it's not hard or confusing and so if you like hunter open my link tree up on my bio and go to the paperarmy.ml i'd be happy to answer anything you post there because i actually do that <laughs> what reaper what are you talking about nobody replaced you what the heck? <laughs> yeah, you got a number one ticket. I, I appreciate that. <laughs> and you know, my Pepsi stuff, all right, it makes really cool things. I made this business card holder, filled the bottom with sand. It is a... Uh, one of, I have a question mark because I don't know if I'll ever make any more. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah, uh, you know, the stuff works good for all kinds of neat stuff. Uh, look at this. All right. And da -da -da -da. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Absolutely, Luke. Absolutely do. Matter of fact, um, we do a Star Wars D&D mashup game on uh, Monday nights. If you would like to join, that would be fantastic. I'm the GM and I run it. Uh, I've got a D100 and all, of, all the other dice that you need too. Um, well, I finished all the TARDISes. They're, they're all gone. The... Um, the uh, shark fighter is gone. This is the number three tiger ray. And um, it's on the raffle for Wednesday. And uh, I've been working on this uh, Gundam. Uh, it's an SD uh, super deformed Zeku Gundam. Oh, no. Glad to see you're back, young lady. Oh, that would be fantastic, Luke. It's uh, the second hour every Monday night right here. And I have, uh, this is my spinner right here. It's a D100 on the outside, then 20, all the way down to a three-sided dice. And we're still learning kind of the game dynamics of it because it's a D&D &D mashup. Last week, uh, we had guys from the prehistoric times riding dinosaurs. And then one of the Star Trek crews uh, beamed in. And uh, <laughs> yeah. Yes, Michael, Gundam style. And it's a Zeku, uh, super deformed Zeku. Absolutely, Luke. <laughs> Absolutely. That would be fun. You're welcome to come in next, uh, uh, well, tomorrow. Now, the game's tomorrow. Uh, Zaku, Z A K U. <clears throat> and SD stands for super deformed. Absolutely can be Luke. And absolutely not a problem. It's easy. Just show up and for the game uh, tomorrow at uh, 5 uh, p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Or let's see. 
what is it? It's five. It's it would be this time tomorrow. Is when the game starts. <laughs> All right, Uno. <laughs> Look out, Alex. <laughs> She's coming for you. You know, Ron, I thought it would be possible, but I never thought it would be possible like this with the most spectacular people on the planet in my phone show. Yes, rest. I do the phone show tomorrow. Wednesday it is my Friday. So Wednesday is the last of the phone show. Unless we decide to ditch uh, at the end of the month, if we decide to ditch the Saturday, Sunday show, then we'll go back to five days a week. What? No, it's Dutch. It's an animal. Okay, Mike, I missed something. Uh, let's go back here and see what, what Mike. Oh, Zeke Koa. Oh, that's Dutch. Well, Zeku is Japanese for uh, the type of... Uh, Gundam, Gundam robot it is. You bet, Luke. Um, it's the paperarmy.ml. If you go to my link tree here on my bio, you can click on it. Oh, the game is going to be... Uh, no, we're playing the game. Well, th there's a game there too. But the game I'm running is tomorrow right here, Luke. Oh... Uh, Angela, no, I don't. I don't battle Angela. Sorry. Uh. Yes, yes, Hunter. Uh, I'm live tomorrow. <clears throat> um. Stefan, Curtis, uh, is what a clip on. Oh, it's a fish. Oh, isn't that neat? Yeah, Luke, right here, same, right here, tomorrow at 5 o'clock. We're doing the uh, Star Wars D&D &D Star Trek mashup game. Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, since 77, uh, Stefan, <laughs> I clipped it on in 77 and it stayed uh, my whole life. <laughs> All right, Hunter. We'll see you tomorrow. Take care. I salute you. Oh, thank you, Stefan. <laughs> I like what you said. That was funny. <laughs> okay so anyway if y'all would like to get in on this oh zico is a manatee oh i know what manatees are i'm from washington state usa hi chris how you doing anyway if anybody would like to get in on this raffle it's uh up on wednesday it's a dollar of TikTok money, or you can put money on my cash app. That works too. Uh, but anyway, it's 200 roses. Gets you a TikTok dollar. That gets you in on this raffle. And so anyway, yeah. Oh, wait. Hello, Mike. Short. Oh, hi, Short. Nice to see you. <laughs> How are you doing? Oh, that is you? Sure. Uh, sure. Oh, okay. Well, let me know when somebody uh, talks to me there, Vi, <laughs> if you would. <laughs> uh, let me see. Chris, uh, boring? Ah, no. I'm never bored, Stefan. Nah. I have the most fantastic phone show. I have the most beautiful people on the planet right here in my phone show. And, uh, <clears throat> yeah, how's, how's your... How's your Voltron coming along, Chris?
And Stefan, I stay so busy with this. It's absolutely amazing. Building these things and showing people how to make them, going to my YouTube channel, The Paper Engineer, it's just, it's just incredible and fantastic. Oh, that's good, Chris. Hi, Fry. Nice to see you. Okay, so I need to put this over here. Oh, never always put your lids back on. Water and paper do not mix when you spill it. Welcome, everybody. Welcome to my phone show. Nice to see you. Howdy, Mike. I should say, howdy, Michael. How are you doing? And I am doing very well. Thank you. What I'm doing right now is I'm putting the finishing touches on this uh, Tiger Ray. This one is going to be on the raffle Wednesday. A dollar in TikTok money, which is 200 roses. Get you a raffle ticket. There's only six of these in the world. I made them. They're my own design. The wings move. Thank you, Michael, for the roses. The landing gear, the feet, the landing gear on these, every one of them has a different colored landing gear. Oh, yeah. If you put in 200 roses, it equals a TikTok dollar. All right. So 200 roses is a buck. That gets you in on this raffle for Wednesday on this Tiger Ray. I made it right here. They named it right here. <laughs> Thank you, Hunter. <clears throat> okay. And so now I've got to put the armor on this. We're officially online on Instagram. Okay, everybody. We're now officially on Instagram as well. Tia is uh, monitoring and she's in charge of Instagram. So I'm now simulcast on four other channels. Boy, isn't that going to be a headache in my ear. <laughs> uh, what price is going up? It's always been a dollar. Uh, for my raffles or or the big one uh the big raffle yeah that one's more that's a five thousand dollar piece and there's a hundred tickets uh 50 bucks a piece but otherwise no these are the same they're a dollar 200 roses is a tiktok dollar and so actually it's less than that but 200 roses is close enough so yes star wars fan what you, uh, I'm lost. What are you talking about? Oh, channels. Uh, say what? Show the walker. Okay, here we go. This is this is this is the big one. This is one of my pieces that I'm putting up on the raffle. It's five thousand dollars. We're gonna do a hundred tickets at fifty bucks a ticket. Uh, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok. 
and Twitch. That's for Star Wars fan. And the paperarmy.ml, which is where I'm looking at myself right now. <laughs> anyway, uh, yeah. And so you can show people it's that. Uh, no, Boba Fett fan? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like Boba Fett, but I like the Mandalorian better. But anyway, if you'd like to get in on that raffle, that is on the paperarmy.ml page. Because I get 50 bucks an hour for building my toys. That is a $5,000 piece. Uh, wait a minute. I told him before. Uh, I told him before what? What, Michael? Armor for what? It's not going to fly. Huh? What? Your price is gone, going up. Uh, wait a minute. What do you mean, Michael? What do you mean I told you before? I told you before what? Please remind me. About the Mandalorian? Okay. Now, Michael, you got me completely lost. Yes, Star Wars fan, for paper. One of a kind, made in prison, and can never be reproduced. About, about the Mandalorian. Michael, I'm completely lost. I don't know what you're saying. I'm, I don't get it. I don't know where I'm missing or what I'm missing, but I don't understand. Oh, how do I get, how do you get a raffle ticket? Uh, you can, there's two ways. You can put money on my cash app. That works. Or in here, they have gifts, uh, roses, all right, or coins. Uh, they have a little, they have a rose section where you tap roses or next to it, uh, they have a little gift box and you open that up and it shows you what kind of gifts you can give. And 200 roses or 200 coins of any denomination equals a TikTok dollar. We had this conversation earlier. Okay, well, I'm sorry, Michael. I don't remember. I, I'm truly sorry. I don't remember. Well, the Gundam build is actually coming along fairly well. Hi, Benz. How are you? Uh, I haven't done anything on it for a little bit, though. I've been I've been busy having to make these, and so that's where I'm kind of stuck right now. Like a week ago, oh my goodness, Mike. Okay, so we talked about something a week ago. What was the conversation? Because now I I talk to, oh geez, you know I talked to ten thousand people in a week, Michael, and so I forgot. I'm sorry. I don't remember. Sure, Benz. I, I love to hear a dad joke. Okay, about Star Wars. Okay, Michael, I, I'm I'm with you there. Now, what about Star Wars? Oh, um, do you have PayPal? If you have PayPal, I also have that, but that's on the paperarmy.ml page. What's red and is bad for your teeth? Licorice? Hi, Spotter.
Ow. No, Ron, I don't. Oh, you were watching Boba Fett. Now I remember that, Michael. Yes. Uh, yes, I've seen Boba Fett. A brick. Oh, geez, Benz. <laughs> That's good. Uh, Toka, it's in, uh, go to my link tree. And it's on my link tree. You couldn't set it up. Uh, go, uh, uh, Bert, Toka's having problems setting up uh, the paperarmy.ml. Will you help him? Hi, Larry. Yes, Marvelous. It is. Thank you very much. Uh, a sponge behind your desk? Okay, the first four episodes of Boba Fett? Yeah. All right, Vince. Have a good night. Okay, you watched the four, first four episodes of Boba Fett. Okay. Am I following you so far, Michael? Uh, yes, if you go to the paperarmy.ml, you have to sign up. But, hey, it's a very secure site. Rich built that extremely safe. Oh, they were a little bit funny. Uh, yes, Michael, they were. And um, I wasn't disappointed, but I liked The Mandalorian better. I really did. Oh, well, thank you, Michael, for dragging me by the nose through all that stuff because I forgot. But yeah, uh, the Book of Fett. Yeah, I didn't like it as well as I did uh, The Mandalorian. And I liked Obi-Wan uh, a little bit better than the Book of Fett. I think if you watch The Mandalorian, if you haven't seen it yet, uh, Michael, you're going to like it. <laughs> oh, I know, Ron. <laughs> Well, Reaper, that's why we're that's why we're human beings, and that's why we're who we are. Um, I happen to like uh, Boba Fett uh, not as well as I like the Mandalorian, and uh, that's what makes us fantastic Paper Army people, is because we have different ways of seeing and thinking of things, and I think that's fantastic. Well, it's because you're using paper, which is a wood product, and Elmer's glue, all right? Elmer's glue, Elmer's glue is made for paper and wood, all right? And so what you end up with is very hard bodies. And then you paint them with acrylic paint, which is like plastic paint. But because I build a superstructure into everything I make, it makes it super light and very strong. <laughs> Elmer Fudd Blue. Yeah. Yes, Michael. <laughs> Absolutely. No, Captain, don't use glue stick. First off, if you put a piece of paper down like this and you run the glue stick over it, you get most of the glue on your paper and a little bit here. Doesn't hold well. I tried a glue stick uh, 10 years ago. A guy brought me one in the Gray Bar Motel and said, here, try this. It's a glue stick. And I went, okay. Oh, I tried it for like two minutes. Well, never went back. 
Matter of fact, it, I think I had it up to a few years ago. It dried out and become nothing. Ah, uh, yeah, Ron. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, thank you, Michael. Uh, yes, um, as far as I know, we've got young uh, young people in here. From uh, I know the youngest, I think, is 11. So we do. It's a family show. Yeah, it, it, they don't. Um, glue sticks are notoriously uh, not good for doing this. Oh, yeah. Yes, Ron, I was. <laughs> it's because, first off, because I taught myself how to do this 13 years ago in, in the uh, Gray Bar Motel system, <laughs> you don't get much there. And when you get something, if it is repurposable somewhere, you do it. Yeah, well, I don't eat this stuff, Ron. Uh, very once in a while. You know, I get a little bit of it on my tools, and you'll see me mm, do that. But that's about it. It's the opposite. Oh, really? Elmer <laughs> Fudd glue? Uh, well, it could be, Michael. I know, Captain. It really is. I, uh, I've been using it for 13 years. All right. Still got the very first piece I made 13 years ago. Oh, uh, that's because the auto write function does that all the time. And so I read, you know, Elmer's Glue, one of the best all-time uh, uh, around, uh, you know, best all-around uh, glues to use. And so, yeah, I, I kind of have learned how to read uh, goofed-up uh, computer language. Difference between glue and paste. Glue is runny. Paste is a paste. But anyway, yeah, 13 years ago. Still have it today. Elmer's glue. Paper. And this was mac and cheese. And uh, acrylic paint. Stuff's great. Okay, so. Oh, yeah, I did that. And now I got that to do. Oh, the taste. Oh, very good, Ron. And I'm sure that you proved that point. Well, y you can eat this too. It's food grade. <laughs> I don't know. Chocolate paste. It, it wouldn't be a good idea to do chocolate paste because you get a bunch of kids eating it all the time. Now, depending on uh, this is this is the nose cone up here, and I don't necessarily want to sand it down much. And so, what I'm going to do is I'm going to angle cut these pieces so that it fits on here right and looks good. Oh wow! Doesn't look like I'm going to have to do anything to it. 
It looks really good as it is. Wow. Very nice. Hi, Reaper. Nice to see you. <laughs> no. No, no, no. I know it is. I, I know. I've seen guys do that with the handlebar mustaches and everything. They used it. Uh, and yeah, they can make their beards do all kinds of crazy stuff with it. And that finishes up the nose cone on that. All right. Well, the my favorite fighter or bomber. Well, gee whiz. Um, wow. Well, I remember when the F-16s first came out. They were insane cool. And uh, I think the first one I saw was in 1973 over in the Philippines. And it always impressed me of how far the um, thrust came out of the back of those engines on afterburner. And so I would have to go with the F-16 as a fighter. Bombers, I go with the B-17 Flying Fortress from World War II. <laughs> oh, the Magic Dragon. Thanks, Captain. And they still are, Michael. I do. Uh, he lived by the sea. Okay, Star Wars, what kind of help can we give you? Hi, dog. How are you doing? I thought you were sleeping. SpongeBob? Well, that is one cartoon that I have never watched. Oh. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh no. Oh no. Uh, Star Wars, it, Bert, maybe you can help with that one. <laughs> oh no. Okay, Michael, I will be. <laughs> okay, dog, football, yeah. I'm actually glad I don't have a TV anymore. There is so much stuff that I don't need to watch anymore. And as much as I love football and all that other stuff, I am glad I'm not watching organized sports anymore. So, Bert, thank you for helping Star Wars fan or Star Trek fan. I'm sorry. Uh, Star, wait, Star Wars Trek fan. I guess he covers both ends of it. Well, dog, I got tired of all of the political horse manure that the uh, sports teams are pushing. And it started making me mad because I love our country and some of the garbage that's been going on in all the sporting events, I didn't like it. And when I moved to where I am now and don't have a TV, uh, I'm okay with that. And so, dog, that's where I'm at with sports right now. Spike? Spike TV is in here? Oh, no. That's amazing. Yeah, because, dog... Once the sports started pushing uh, political agendas, so to speak, for me, it become not fun. Yeah, I know, dog. It, it really doesn't. It just ruins the sport. And so, you know, and I don't know if it's ever going to go back. Because once they usually make a leap forward like that, they don't quit. Uh, yes, Spotter, I have. Both. Aren't the, aren't the red arrows? I, I think... Let me see. Aren't they from Britain, uh, from the UK? And the Blue Angels are from the States? I might be off on that, but I think it's that's right.
Yeah. And yes, I've seen both. Hi, Kyle. Nice to see you. Welcome back. Hello, Chloe. Bonjour. Welcome, Chloe. Nice to see you. Oh, Kyle, that is going to be so much fun. I am so excited for you. That is great. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. Thank you, Spotter. Oh, that's excellent news, dog. Dog, have you signed up on our paperarmy.ml page yet? If you have, when you start your first X-Wing and you're working on it, send pictures there. I would love to see them. Wait a minute, Ron, what are you talking about? I haven't seen anybody in here that deserves Bert Sickenham. <laughs> oh, that's excellent news, dog. Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Ron just wanted to hear me say it. <laughs> yeah. It, it, well, Ron, you have to be in here when, when there's a really bad troll in here. And that only comes around about every six weeks. Oh, Kyle, you're going to have so much fun. Come on, comment to Keva. Oh, he comments okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, Ron. <laughs> uh, last one was um, who? Who was Eric? I think was was it Eric Viola? Who was who was the troll? We who? Eddie. Oh, yeah, Eddie. Did I get that right? Eddie? William, he came back in and apologized. Hey, how are you doing? Oh, how am I doing, Chloe? Thank you. I'm doing good. <laughs> sorry, Chloe. <laughs> I'm sorry, Chloe. Uh, I am doing well. Young lady, I hope you are also. <laughs> okay, now see that? That, it, yeah. What's that? Okay, va. Okay, it's okay. <laughs> Thank you, Chloe. <laughs> okay, now I don't know if that'll translate because I think it won't. Comment is how. <laughs> okay, let's turn that back off. Uh, undo translate. There we go. Comment how. <sighs> um, it depends on what part of English you're learning, Chloe, on how you comment on things. And so, saucer head? Oh, my goodness sakes. Are you a plate? fan saucer head hi Aaron nice to see you 
Oh, salmon grill tonight. Geez, Kyle, that's awesome news. Hi, Toby. Nice to see you. The word comment, is that the word you're looking for, uh, Chloe? Because if I'm known, I think that means no. I think that means no. No, okay. Um, okay. What word do you want me to uh, say again? Uh-oh. Come on. Translate. The other word. Oh, no. <laughs> I don't remember what other word it was. Oh, no. Oh, how are how am I doing? The other word, how am I doing? The words I said last time. Yes, it. Um, <laughs> no, that's not it either. Okay, Michael. One minute. Okay, Chloe. I'll wait a minute. I have lots of time. We've got over 15 minutes of the show left. Okay. Okay, the word I said you want... I'm sorry, Chloe. I don't know what I was talking about. I'm sorry. Oh, the last time you was here? Oh, sweetheart. I <laughs> Oh, the I you said I love dogs. Uh no, Ryan. My hands never get tired. Of making stuff. I love dogs. That's not it? <laughs> oh, you want to do th thieves? What? Cosplay? I'm sorry, Chloe. I don't know what word you're looking for. Hi, Animal. From Detroit. Nice to see you. Kava, I know that's okay. <laughs> Chloe. Chloe. It started with a G. Oh, geez, Chloe. I don't know, sweetheart. I don't know. I'm sorry. Oh, the thief cosplay. Ow. Oh, the G in French is N J in English. Oh, G sounds like a J in, in English. Huh? Come on now. Will you translate this time? No, nope, it won't translation. Unable to comply. I can't translate that. I just don't know. So the G sounds like J. Okay. Oh, you're going to play a rogue? Okay, Kyle. I understand that part. Okay. Javas. Javas. I'll put an emoji. Okay, Chloe. 
Okay, Chloe, an emoji's fine. Yes. And his name is Shane. Yes, shame. Yes, shame. I do teach. And uh, because I'm the only one in the world that does this stuff right here, uh, using recycled paper from my kitchen, I've been doing this now for uh, 13 years. Hi, Chance. Nice to see you, young man. How are you doing? This is what's on the raffle today, Chance. It goes up Wednesday. It's the Tiger Ray. This is the number three of six. Thank you, animal. I do remember when we talked last time, Chloe, but the only thing I remember was you wanted me to say I love dogs slow because there's so much. I talk to a thousand people in a day and it's very hard for me to remember every conversation. And so as much as I want to remember the conversation, it's very difficult. All right, Chloe, you got, yeah, you got a minute. <clears throat> Uh, oh, how do you, uh, I make these, Here, here's another one I'm working on right here, and Animal, if you want to get in on this raffle, it's uh, 200 roses is a TikTok dollar, and you can get uh, in on this raffle. What? The paper engineer from the World Wide Web, Mr. First Page. Thank you, Animal, very much. Oh, goodness sakes. Oh, Chance, I'm sorry to hear that. And so thank you for the hand hearts. And how, how much your hand hearts? Uh, does anybody know? Oh, that's going to be tough, Kyle. <laughs> hand, hand hearts are 100. Yes, animal, you're in the raffle. I will write you down when the show's over. And so, yep, excellent. Yes, it takes, it takes uh, 200 roses or 200 coins. Get you a raffle ticket for this. And thank you, Animal, very much. This raffle will be held uh, Wednesday at noon. And if you can't come in that early uh, on my show, I keep your name written down. And uh, I will email you if you win. And so, yeah. 200 Roses get you in on this raffle. Swept Wings, Fighter Bomber. What? Oh, I know, Chloe. I'm sorry. Maybe it would be just easier if we have a different conversation about something else and don't worry about what we said the other day. What? Wait a minute. Who is that? Spotter. All right. Love you too, Spotter. Take care. We'll see you. You want to write your own sci-fi book? Oh, yeah. Oh, that's right. I remember you talking about that. Yes. Michael, there is my ticket. Okay, wait a minute. <laughs> you you got a ticket, Michael? It takes, uh, it takes 200 roses, Michael, to get one.
I pickle slush. That's all right, pickle slush. Thank you for stopping by and saying hi. We love you. Oh, that's excellent news. Started writing the book. You sent me, uh, okay, Michael, what'd you send me? As a gift. All right, Pickle Slush, see you later. Okay, what did I what did I miss? Michael Michael sent me something. Is it a ticket? Oh, what okay, what's a ticket worth? Good night, spotter. Thank you, Clay. Thank you very much. Uh 10 okay it takes 200 roses or 200 coins uh to get in on this raffle yeah it wouldn't translate it, wait what it's hanging out oh oh your cat is angry with you chloe i'm sorry That's fantastic, Kyle. Oh, my goodness sakes. Sky elves? That actually sounds pretty cool. Uh, why is your cat mad at you, Chloe? Oh, okay, Michael. That's fine. I can, I can give it to somebody else. Thank you, Clay. Thank you for the roses, Clay, and I will make sure you get in on this raffle. Okay. And just on the off chance, and it, it, this is a pretty big if, but this is a $5,000 piece. And if you go to the paperarmy.ml and sign up there, this raffle, I'm doing 100 tickets at $50 a ticket. So far, we've sold two tickets. Okay, Michael. Yeah. I uh, yeah. I I'll show you what I'm making right now. Yeah, we'll put that back over there. Back by my lunch. Okay. This is what I'm working on right now. It's another tiger ray. This one is going to be raffled off on Wednesday. And uh it's a dollar a raffle ticket, which is 200 roses or the equivalent to 200 roses. And so it's a swept wing. It's a fighter bomber from the Emerald Fleet, and it is my own design and my own invention and all of that wonderful stuff. And so this is what we're doing. What? Six minutes of the show left. Oh, no. The show's almost over, everybody. And so that's what I'm making right now. It goes on Wednesday. This one has to go on the following Wednesday. This is the number four of six. And... I sign them and date them and number them on the wings. Oh, that's fantastic. Yeah, Kyle, that's great news. Thank you, Chloe. Is your cat mad at you because you won't play with it? Translated. Yes, Chloe, I do. Because I believe I don't I don't care if you're gay. It doesn't matter to me. And everybody has the right to be anything they wish to be. Then nobody has the right to tell them no. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they are. Thank you, Chloe. Absolutely.
Yes, Chloe, it is the facts. And I've never had a problem with that my whole life. Well, Kyle, you will be a famous author. And I didn't have to have it rewrote. I got that. <laughs> because you've got a good storyline. And all you got to do is continue to write and get better each time. Thank you, Chloe, very much. And a lot of people do, Chloe, because the paper army, we all feel the same way here. We don't care if you're gay. We don't care if you're black or white. We don't care from where in this world you live. We're all human beings. We need to pull together as human beings, especially if the aliens show up in 2024. It's important. Okay, Kyle, <laughs> have, a, have a good meal. Oh, that's fine, Chloe. Yes, that, that's absolutely fine. Uh, Gosling? Um, who the heck is Gosling? Is that that Ryan guy? And I still, I've heard the name, but I don't know who he is. Jeez, there's only two minutes left. Oh, thank you, partner. Clay, thank you. Yeah, I, I don't, yes, we are. And, but wait, okay. Okay, Gosling. Ryan? Yeah, I don't know. What's a Gosling other than a baby goose? Good night, Kyle. Take care. Jeez, everybody, the show's almost over. Oh, my goodness sakes. Today went by like crazy. Oh, uh, thank you, Clay. Uh, yes, and I will make sure. And matter of fact, I'll make sure and get you in the book as soon as the show's over. I'm going to go check on all the gifts and anyone that has uh, 200 roses or more. If you have 50 roses in there, I'll, I'll write it down too. Thank you, Clay. Night, night, Chloe. I know. I know, Uno. It, it's assumed it's gone. You bet, Chloe. You sleep well also. Good night, young lady. Take care. We'll see you again. Yes, Captain. God bless everyone. And thank you all for being the most fantastic people in the world. Merci to you, Chloe. Good night, everyone, Chloe said. In case you're not reading French, <laughs> she said, good night, everyone. Good night, Chloe. Take care, young lady. Anyway, everybody, I have got to go. I love you all. Have a good night. Uh-huh. Well, how do 